Hello guys, myself Ankit. In this video, we shall see another problem on with code. Quiz bus. So, given an integer n greater than a string are an answer, one indexed. So, answer of i equal to quiz bus if i is divisible by 3 and 5. Answer of i equal to quiz if i is divisible by only 3. If uh, answer of i equal to bus if i is divisible by only 5. And answer of i equal to i as a string, which we should return that if none of the above conditions are true. So, Let's say the given n is 3. Then the answer array, we have written an answer array that is 1 index. So the indexing should start from 1. So 1, 2, 3. So from 1 till the nth number, we could see 1. Uh, if at first we have to check if they are divisible by both 3 and 5. How do you check for divisibility? By modulus, right? So if i modulus 3 equal to equal to 0 and i modulus 5 equal to equal to 0 if both divisibility happens true in such case we return this bus how do we do if you look into the answer it contains an array list of type string so we have to declare the array list it is of type string And name by answer. So answer equal to new array list. So once you have this, how do you add elements to the array list? If both conditions are true, i modulus 3 is equal to equal to 0 and i modulus 5 is equal to equal to 0. Then answer dot add of you have to add fizzbuzz. If this case becomes wrong, then we check for single conditions of these two. That is, if it is only divisible, else it will be only divisible by 3. If that is true, then you have to uh, do answer dot add of fizz. Next, again, else condition, else if condition, that is divisible by 5. If that is true, then uh, you add buzz. So, at first we need to check the AND condition. Only that becomes one, then you go for single condition. If none of these cases happen, you just need to add i. But we, how do we need to add i? As a string. So, what do you mean by that? If you see the answer, the i is, is in double quotes, right? Because array list of type strings, we have to return that as a string. But we know that i is an integer. So, how do we return i? We cannot do answer dot add of. So, answer dot add of i no this is not possible this will take i as a string or else we cannot do give particularly one or two that is not possible so how do we do so given i convert into a string given an integer i convert into a string using the function we know integer is given dot two string of i so this has to be entirely has to be added to answer. So answer dot add of this integer of two string of i. This is the last case. So quickly we shall code this. At first we will declare an uh, array list or type integer, not type, sorry, string. Yes, and that is named as answer equal to new array. List. So run the follow for int i equal to 1 because numbers will be starting from 1 here and answer is 1 indexed. So we start from i equal to 1. Then i lesser than or equal to n because n also should be considered i plus plus. If i modulus 3 equal to equal to 0 and i modulus 5 equal to equal to 0, if that is true. Then answer dot add of is plus. Else in the single case, else if i modulus 3 equal to equal to 0, then answer dot add of is. Else if, next condition, 
i modulus phi will equal to 0 then answer dot add of bus last will be the else part else part will be answer dot add of we have to convert i to string so integer dot to string of i so at the end we return answer okay yeah Yes, successfully submitted. If you have any doubts, please drop out in the comment section. We'll come up with another video next session. And please subscribe to the channel for more such videos and keep learning. Thank you.